JHK here for the All Star, and join me right now is UFC flyweight Manel Cop. Manel, it's good to see your face, man. How you feeling? Good to see you. Good to see you. I feel good. Feel good. Feel amazing. Like always, <laughs> this time I feel much better. Oh, of course, man. Before we get into the fighting stuff, how is uh, uh the the unborn child? How is everything going? Is is everything good with you and the baby? Yeah, everything good. You know, this is I'm I'm going to new new level of my life and i'm happy i'm happy i'm super super happy you know proud of me and um i feel that my life changed a little bit and this is good every time for better by the way and this is what i want yeah for sure man it's gonna like you said it's gonna change your life and it's gonna make everything better yeah. in your life of in course. your fighting all of that stuff right yes of course all right, let's uh let's revisit your last fight. Beautiful flying knee yeah. finish, O'Day Osborne. You know, you performed yeah. in that fight like everybody expected you to perform. How did it feel yeah. to fight in front of the fans again and, and get a big victory like that? You know, this is what I want. I like fight I like <clears throat> I like fighting in front of the fans. This is what I'm I'm feel good, amazing. Will make me excited when I see people watch me fight, you know. Um, this will remember remember me the old times, and uh, I was there just to have fun, you know, to be me, and uh, I knew that uh, this day was my day, you know, and uh, all thing was connect. I training a lot this this fly knee, and uh, work, you know, and I I get his distance, I see his movements, and uh, boom. Boom! That's right. It was a it was a big boom, right? <laughs> yeah, and you know that was a great performance. But the first couple of fights in the UFC, it didn't go your way. You know, a lot of people mm. expected you to just come in here and run through mm. fighters. How frustrating yeah. was that? The first couple of fights for you, not being able to show everybody what you're really capable of. No, no, <clears throat> it was most frustrating because. Uh... You know, because the floor, like I say, uh, I was very sleepy. I can't do my do my game like go forward, go back, go forward, stay there, go go out, and uh, this make me a little bit frustrated, right? Right? No, not about the fight, all the fighters. You know, I, uh, I know that I'm I'm more level than all the fighters that I fight here in UFC, but. I was just the, the octagon. This is always was my issue. Even in Japan, I have this issue on the beginning too. And uh, I, I really don't expect and these both fights have this this problem. But good that on third fight, I I, I go through from this and uh, did some exchange and uh, works and I can show my, my real life, my talent. And uh, I believe that people see uh, my talent, and uh, right now they believe a lot. And uh, this put me again on uh, on big hype. After the fight, you mentioned that you see things inside the cage that nobody can see. How did you develop that skill? Uh, you know, uh, always the reaction is my, my my strong point. You know, I have a good reaction, um, and I can feel people slow. You know, <laughs> like. Uh, I can like I can I can see when they throw what they think about his movement. I can read very well the body language of the, the fighters, and this is what make me see things that people don't see and they don't see. You know, and they can respond uh, respond after that. And uh, you know, with that that aspect of the game, you know, being able to see it, does it does it seem like everything slows down for you a little bit inside the cage? Uh, like uh, I can like stop in two seconds, you know. I can see things on two seconds because my move, my head movement is is very well. I already move for this side and the hands uh, never touch me. Uh, and and uh, just on last fight, I get uh, uh, it touched me in my face two times, just two times, you know. So even don't touch me, basically, even don't don't touch me. But uh, last fight, the guy was very good on the counter. He's a good, good strike, good counter, very dangerous. 
and I believe more danger than the the, the my first two fights, and uh, you know is just make me more uh, more sharp, more more dangerous, you know. Of course. <laughs> now December fourth, you're back in action against yes. Zalgas Zumagulov. What do you think of him and his skill set? Have a good. It was very good. On it was very good. I I don't believe right now. Right now, we we like this match is very difficult for him in many aspects. I can tell first about the age. I'm super more younger than him, um, more fast than him. This is absolutely. Uh, I have more finish than him. Like like a flyweight. <laughs> like I have a finish like a heavyweight. I have 10, 10 finish. I don't know if you have other fighter or the flyweight that have more finish than me because it's very difficult. My Jiu Jitsu is always more better than him. I have more uh, uh, submits than him. And um, my cardio, this is what I expect. I can go through the five rounds. I've been there many, many, many times. Or I can uh, finish the fight after that. And uh, I don't see him do the three rounds like I, I saw many. I saw his fights in, in UFC and um, he's got to go very, very low on second round. He get too much energy, try to knock, in, knock you out people, but he can't, you know. So it's many aspects on fight that um, um, I'm winning right now. I'm winning, you know, but uh, I don't want to race make him, but... Um, uh, we, frankly, will be the most easy fight that I, UFC give me right now. The these three, these, three, four fights what I have, this will be the the most easy. Apparently, apparently will be the most easy. All right. Did you expect to have a different opponent before you signed to fight him? No, I don't. I, I don't expect a different opponent. I think uh, Zaga was there already. You know. He um, he signed uh, four deals with FC. I signed two or four deals, and uh, they give me they give me that fight. And uh, of course, why not? why not we we get some easy fight, you know, and we get get a good Christmas. You know? <laughs> for real, huh? for real, a good Christmas. And I saw on you know. Instagram that you've been having some fun with your opponent online. You know, has there been any reaction or messages from the Kazakhstan fans? Of, of course, a lot, a lot, a lot of message from Kazakhstan, bad words, you know, and the Instagram, basically, they go to my account uh, and uh, try to make the hell, but uh, this is what it make me excited, you know, this is what it make me be me, you know, and uh, they re see their reaction, his reaction is being true, uh, talk to. And this is what make me make me happy, you know. I like this kind of fight. I like this kind of the climate, you know. Yeah, you get the energy, right? Even if it's negative yes, or positive, it, it doesn't matter. It, it get, make make my energy go high. Make me focus. Make me, you know, hungry, and uh, activates my killer mood. Yeah, for sure. And uh, you're in Las Vegas. Where are you doing your camps? Yeah. I seen you at Extreme Couture. Is that is that the only place? Yeah. Extreme Couture. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I do my 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 training there. I do my jujitsu with the big master Fredson and Amori, and I do my strength condition and PI in UFC Performance Institute. Do you think that's mm -hmm. the best combination you have for training in your career so far? Uh, with being very very good, you know, uh, a lot of a lot of professional, a lot of UFC fighters. I've been training. And uh, I'll be see where where I am um, on point of skills, um, like a fighter, what they do, what I'm doing, you know. And uh, I mean, I'm in a good position. I can say I'm in a good position, of course. Who have you been training with closely for this training camp? I've been training with my my partner, a lot of partners from uh, from Extreme, Mateus. Heavy, it's a lightweight fighter, no, featherweight, featherweight and heavyweight. I've been training with uh, with a lot, a lot of flyweights. They have a uh, a lot of flyweights there, and it's been with being very, very well, you know. 
and uh, I feel I feel that uh, I was need this. The change was very good, and uh, we we are in good way. We are in good way. How many pedicures have you gotten during this trade account? A lot, a lot. I would do a lot, my man. I would do a lot, one hundred percent. I would do a lot. <laughs> After you said that, right, in the post-fight press conference, like, I went to go get a pedicure. I never got one before, so you convinced you know, me. Um, you know, we have a lot of skinny dads, you know, and skinny dads. And this is what make many times the, the, the food sleep and everything, so we need to remove. And I was before Dunda many times on uh, on Thailand, you know. So right now I've been talking with one guy, he's a scientist, he told with me, for for this one week before the fight and being result, you know, and the result on my last fight. And uh, yeah, I would always do right now. Now I'm doing it everywhere, every time. Yeah, for sure. And uh, do you see another flashy knockout in this fight or do you feel like it's going to be harder than that? Not harder than that. I can, um, I can tell you that... Uh, 100% I'm not knock, knock you out on second round, you know. On second round, uh, I will get this victory, you know. Easy, easy. I can say that this fight will be easy, you know. But I will be focused, tremendously focused uh, to get to the easy fight. All right. A um, couple more questions. A couple of fights that are coming up. I'd like to get your thoughts. Brandon Moreno, Figueredo. The third fight's happening pretty soon. Uh, Figueredo, he switched camps right before the title fight. Do you think that's gonna help him? I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know if you can improve on one month. You know, on one month you can improve uh, your wrestling. You know, uh, or or what or your jiu-jitsu, whatever. I think you need the, the, the very good timing, you know, probably four or five months, and then you get through to the fight, you know, on six, seven months, you know, to be good on this area, what you know are good, you know. So I really I really don't know. I don't really pay attention on, on that. I just put all the focus, all the attention on, on me, on my fight, and on my life, and the... Uh, doesn't matter what they do, you know. Time by time, I'll be there. i seen you training a little bit with Aljamain Sterling at Extreme yeah. Couture. And he yeah. will most likely fight Peter Yan in the rematch. Uh -huh. Two champions facing off. A lot of people think Yan will dominate this fight, you know. Yeah. What do you think Sterling needs to do to win? Uh, both fighters are very good, you know. Peter Yan is a... Uh a monster a killer i see him training many times in thailand i can say that the, the man is uh, is different i see starling training too it's, it's very good high level you know uh, we will see what will happen on on second fight you know i think it will be a very good match of both good fighters and both uh, both two uh, the, the battle eight champions you know yeah it's gonna be crazy well you know what's gonna be crazy is december 4th in Las it's Vegas, UFC Apex. will be very hot over there. <laughs> there. There you go, Madel. Hey, man, I appreciate you talking with me. And uh, we'll speak again oh. soon. Thank you so much. We'll speak again 100%. Thank you so much, John. Have a nice day, my friend.